everyone, it's Danica and welcome back to The Writing Nook. So today is Sunday. It's the last day of the weekend, the last day to get things done that I want to get done for my creative projects. And I thought it would be fun to kind of take you guys along for the ride. I would like to hit 100,000 words in my manuscript this weekend, which might be a bit of a pipe dream, but we'll see. I think kind of sprinkle up throughout today, I'd like to give you guys a few updates on my work in progress project order. Spoiler alert, I'm a little stuck. Yes, okay. I'd like to kind of start out by getting my files together. I might watch a tiny bit of YouTube just to get some inspiration. Love me some author tube, but I need to set a time limit on that. Otherwise I will just go down the YouTube spiral like everyone. So I am going to take probably like 15 minutes and get things set up. And then I think I'm going to get into writing and I will update you guys in a bit about my project. Hi, okay, so it's been a minute. <laughs> I definitely did get sucked a little bit into the YouTube spiral, but I just wanted to take a second and talk about how I really love AuthorTube. I just spent probably honestly about an hour watching through different videos. Everyone's so positive and, you know, so supportive of each other. It's really wonderful, I think, to watch people's journeys and then to be able to interact with them in comments and talk people talk to people back and forth to kind of start to get to know people. It's just so exciting. I was just watching a tag video from Writing Violet who did a tag on kind of small author tubers and what it's like being in kind of a close knit community and really getting to know people. She made a really great point that I feel like we should talk about more on AuthorTube, which is that the viewers, you are a part of AuthorTube. You don't have to make a video or have a channel to be like an integral essential part of this. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community, whether you're someone who just watches, which was honestly me for a very long time. I never commented until very recently. If you, if I've never interacted with you, that's totally okay. I want to say that I appreciate you too. And for everyone who I have been able to talk to, it's what been wonderful to meet you all. And I really look forward to kind of getting to meet more people and getting to know the people that I have met even more. Anyhow, I need to be productive. <laughs> this is literally to help me be more productive and I have not been more productive. So we're going to write. I am going to... I have very little left in my drink, so I'm going to get a refill on this or something. Maybe I want tea. I don't know. I'm going to go look and see what kind of drink I can get. We can do maybe like a 20, like, like a nice little 20 minute writing sprint. Then I'll probably need to take advantage of this sunlight and film the video that I've been meaning to film today. It's like 2 p.m. So like clearly we're doing great. <laughs> and then I want to take you guys on a walk because honestly it's gorgeous outside and I have some like detailed like plotting to do. I need to figure out exactly how I want the scene after this scene to go. So I, hopefully after I finish writing the current scene, I can take a break, take some videos of me sliding around in the ice and the snow. <laughs> It'll be funny if nothing else, hopefully and then come back and write it. So let's see how far far we can get on this today. All right, I broke it down and I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I make this because I think that I make the best hot chocolate. So stay tuned. Okay, step one, small amount of hot water. Step two, add in all of your cocoa powder mix specifically the dark chocolate. I do not mess with that milk chocolate. We stir this super vigorously so that it completely dissolves and you have kind of like a, a dense hot chocolate roux. Perfect. And next, coconut milk. This is my true secret to success. Probably put in about half coconut milk. Yes. And voila, you have coconut hot chocolate. Oh, this is my favorite way to have hot chocolate. All right, now we're ready to be productive. Oh, this is the perfect music for this scene. Okay, um, I think I kind of know where I'm going a little bit, like just enough to uh, point me in the right direction, but not enough for it not to be exciting. So one thing that I love about having done the writing sprint video is that it really helps me, I think, crystallize what types of writing sprints that I like. And I've kind of honestly cycled through all of those sprints that I tried at various times. So I'm going to use Write or Die, I think for 25 minutes and the goal, <laughs> the goal. <laughs> 
is going to be to get this to the point where the confrontation we're headed towards has happened and the person they're trying to rescue is like in their hands. <laughs> thousand words in a little over 25 minutes. It's a pretty good sprint. So I figured now is like as good a time as any to talk about kind of where I'm at in my story. Folks are shoveling snow so there's gonna be like some noise but don't worry about it. So I've been in a major writing slump over the past few weeks. I just haven't really gotten myself to write and I think part of it is because I don't love the scenes that I need to get through to get to kind of the all is lost moment. I'm not really that looking forward to writing them, which I think is a good sign that they'll probably change or need to change. Um, and I've had this policy of not skipping any scenes. Now, I know that this is definitely like a topic of conversation. Some people like to put in placeholders and say like, write the scene later. Some people only write in chronological order. I have been trying to write this draft in chronological order because I'm trying to just discover as many ideas as possible. Sometimes forcing myself through scenes that I wasn't that excited about, I've come up with ideas that I am super excited about. And since the point of this draft for me is to kind of help like flex my creative muscle by skipping out on a scene that I'm not excited about, I feel like maybe I'm missing out on ideas that I would have come up with if I had forced myself through it. So that's my theory. But unfortunately, because of this policy, I've been able to get really bog, like bogged down in this one set of scenes that I'm just not that excited about. Because I won't let myself skip it, I feel less motivated. And because I feel less motivated, I write less and cycle, cycle, cycle. I'm still less than 100,000 words in February when I was hoping to be over the 120 mark and have finished this draft. I think that I should consider a time jump. Because at a certain point, like, what's better? Writing some words and or and skipping a scene that maybe I could have come up with good ideas on or writing no words. If I'm not super excited about it, I'm not gonna force myself to write it. I'm okay with that. Future Danica, that is totally cool. Let's just finish this draft in a way that feels good because writing is supposed to be fun. So have fun with it. Message to you. Let's go take a walk while there's still a little bit of sunlight out and we can enjoy a little bit of the snow and some music and hopefully get some fresh ideas. Let's go. Fabulous walk. Super nice outside. I honestly really like this kind of like cold weather. I'm gonna start eating. I walked long enough that it is pretty dark outside and it is time to get back to the scene that I'm in and hopefully kind of round this guy out. Let's just dive in, see how it goes. So I'll be honest with you. I, um, uh, I haven't been that productive. <laughs> okay, I've been a little bit productive, but I haven't been that productive about writing. Um, I think I'm still sub 2,000 words for the day, which was definitely not my intention, but I think I had pretty unrealistic goals at the beginning. This is what you get when you set unrealistic goals. Before I sign off this vlog, I had a few thoughts that I just wanted to talk out. Like I was talking about earlier, I've definitely gone through a writing slump. I find myself just kind of afraid that I'm like losing steam. And what I've noticed is that kind of that pressure, I think that I'm putting on myself to not lose momentum and like finish this thing. And I feel like that pressure has almost made it harder to keep momentum. I get kind of stressed about it and then I associate that stress with writing and then I become less excited to write my novel. And I really want to write a bunch of other ideas that I've been coming up with. Like there are kind of things mulling around my brain. I'd really like to sit down and just study my writing craft books. But I told myself that I wasn't going to do any of that until I finished my first draft. I wanted to finish the first draft and then use all those other things that I really want to do as my break time before I come back to my story. So I end up just not doing writing related things. 
which is also not the goal. And then I feel bad about that because I want to write. I do. I genuinely want to like be working on this stuff. So it's just interesting to me that, you know, sometimes the pressure to be productive has the opposite effect. It makes you less productive. And I think one thing that I should probably start thinking about is how to get out of this weird spiral I have going and what's going to give because it seems like something needs to give. Maybe I just end up taking a break. I just give in at the 75% mark and I take a break and I do some of the other stuff I wanna do. I write some of the short stories that I've been thinking of. I maybe take a deep dive into a writing craft book and then decide to come back to my story once I'm finished with that. Maybe this book is just too long for me to make it all the way through the first draft without taking a break. Maybe like my very rigid view of what I feel like should be happening or like what I should be doing, maybe I need to get over it. <laughs> maybe I just don't know everything, which you know is already we know is true. <laughs> but I keep acting like I really want to hold myself to my plans and I think maybe I need to be a little more flexible with my plans to adapt to where I'm really at. So I don't know. Stay tuned. Let me know down below if you've ever had kind of a writing slump like this where, you know, the pressure to finish something actually made it harder for you to finish it or if you have ever had an issue in a story where you just started to lose motivation but you really wanted to finish it and not abandon it. But otherwise, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the night. It has overall been a pretty successful day. I wrote, I think, a little over 1,500 words, which is pretty good. I got some YouTube videos put together, some other creative stuff. Even if I didn't hit everything on my checklist the way that I wanted to, I'm gonna call it a success. And that's what matters. Thank you all very much for being here. I will see you all right back here very soon. <laughs> Bye. Walking is a workout for your arm. I'm gonna get biceps from this. <laughs> Sir. Do you wanna come be on the vlog? Let's get this set up, shall we? Hello, it's me.